launching industrial production and widespread deployment of humanoid robots in China. The company Humane introduced a revolutionary smartphone replacement called AI Pin. U.S. Marines armed a robot dog with an anti-tank grenade launcher. The first flight tests of the largest modern flying machine, along with Elon Musk's company Neuralink planning to implant ships in 11 volunteers simultaneously, as well as other high-tech news in this video. China intends to become a global leader in the production and application of humanoid robots, aiming to achieve this by 2025, according to the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. In the near future, China plans to establish two to three large-scale production facilities for humanoid robots, along with a network of specialized small and medium-sized enterprises. Additionally, two to three agglomeration zones for industrial development will be formed deeply integrated into the real economy, serving as new important drivers of economic growth. In simple terms, these enterprises will play a pivotal role in urban development. The Chinese government believes that humanoid robots are likely to become another breakthrough technology similar to computers or smartphones that will reshape our lives and work. Therefore, by 2027, humanoid robots are expected to be a significant engine of China's economic growth. Specifically, robots will be involved in sectors such as healthcare, household services, agriculture, logistics, and heavy manufacturing. China is increasing its efforts in the automation of production and other areas, aiming to achieve a target of at least 500 robots per 10,000 workers by 2025. As robots become more and more common in the armed forces of various countries, there is a growing interest in small, maneuverable support vehicles capable of performing various tasks on the battlefield, including engaging armored vehicles. Marine Corps specialists decided to test whether a quadruprobot could be entrusted with a grenade launcher. While they do not mention the specific model of the robot used as a prototype, it visually resembles the products of the Chinese startup Unitree, which costs $5,000. According to military representatives, it is not suitable for real combat as it is too lightweight, fragile, and the battery charge would not last for actual military operations. However, it is suitable for demonstrating the functionality of the technology. The robot dog, referred to by American military as a robo-goat, was armed with a disposable M72 anti-tank grenade launcher, a lightweight, easy-to-use weapon in service with the U.S. Army since the 1960s. It is not suitable for destroying modern tanks, but can target less heavily armored transport and other other objectives. Instead of a soldier, the machine under remote control can perform all the actions necessary for firing. The operator can stay nearby in a safe location and bring the robot closer to the target. Whether the robot dog with a grenade launcher will be adopted for military use will be determined by further tests. However, the fact that the military is exploring the idea of arming quadruped robots is already evident. In these days, the electric airship Pathfinder 1 took to the skies for the first time, and its manufacturer LTA Research hopes that it will mark the beginning of a new era in environmentally friendly aviation. Co-founder of Google, Sergey Brin, played a significant role in financing this project. At a length of 124.5 meters, Pathfinder 1 has become the largest flying machine since the giant and infamous Hindenburg airship of the 1930s. But unlike it, it uses inert helium for lift, rather than the flammable hydrogen. Pathfinder 1 is built entirely from the ground up using new materials and technologies from modern unmanned aerial vehicles, such as remote control, electric motors, and LIDARs. The helium filling the shell is contained in 13 giant nylon compartments and is controlled using lasers. The rigid protective frame, covered with lightweight synthetic material Tedlar, consists of 10,000 polymer tubes reinforced with carbon fiber connected by 3,000 titanium fittings. 12 electric motors powered by diesel generators and batteries provide vertical takeoff and landing. The estimated maximum speed of the new electric airship is 120 km per hour, but initial test flights will be conducted at much lower speeds. A series of increasingly ambitious flight test lies ahead before Pathfinder 1 moves to Akron, Ohio, where LTA plans to build an even larger airship, Pathfinder 3. The company ultimately aims to create a family of airships to aid in disaster relief efforts and provide zero carbon emission passenger transport. Pathfinder 1 can carry approximately four tons of cargo in addition to the crew, water ballast, and fuel. However, future humanitarian airships will require much greater payload capacity. 
The Best Chef Robot of 2021 Moly, the world's first fully robotic kitchen, although still far from perfection, requires a fully prepared kitchen and manual ingredient preparation. This is the kind of robot we expect after watching sci-fi movies. Moly's two robotic hands will prepare full-fledged dishes for you, alert you when it's time to replenish food supplies, suggest dishes based on your available ingredients, learn your preferences, and even partially clean kitchen surfaces. However, the system comes with a hefty price tag of $340,000 for now. Still, Moly is also available in a more budget-friendly version that lacks robotic hands, but includes touch screens, intelligent technology, and a recipe database. This kit comes at a cost of $135,000. Humane has released its first product, a smartphone without a display called AI Pin. It features a small laser projector that projects images onto the user's palm. In addition, it incorporates GPT-4 functions and offers intuitive control methods. The device attaches to clothing and performs nearly all the functions of a traditional smartphone with a voice assistant, making calls, setting reminders, and answering questions. The gadget can be controlled through a touch panel or a projection display that shows the image on the owner's hand. The innovation recognizes the rotation and tilt of the palm, as well as the gesture of closing the index and thumb fingers. The voice assistant operates based on the GPT-4 language model and has a wide range of knowledge. It can provide information about any product, choose a song on a given topic, and even compose and send a text message to a contact from the phone book. The built-in camera allows the smartphone to take photos with a voice command or a double tap on the touch panel. AI Pin accesses the internet through a virtual mobile operator network in collaboration with T-Mobile. The service plan for using its features is $24 per month. The device itself will be available in the U.S. market on November 16 at a price of $699. The package includes two batteries, a rear panel, a charging case, a cable, and a power adapter. Neuralink will implant a chip in 11 volunteers simultaneously. Elon Musk managed to obtain approval from the FDA to implant his chips in 11 patients at once. Despite the standard testing procedure typically involving the implantation of a new chip in one patient, followed by a year of observation. It's worth noting that Neuralink implants are ideally designed not only to partially restore communication abilities for people with limited capabilities, but also to literally help those who are paralyzed regain mobility. Now with permission to conduct human trials, Musk's company plans to operate on 11 patients in 2024. The cost of each operation is estimated at $10,500, but insurance companies will have to pay $40,000 for each patient. The startup has already received applications from thousands of patients, but by next year, 11 volunteers will be selected for the first phase of the experiment. Neuralink has not yet completed work on the chip, and there are plans to extend its battery life in the future. The company also intends to create a chip for the spinal cord. Thus, the brain implant will be used to restore the ability to communicate with the outside world and control bionic prosthetics, while the spinal cord implant will enable the patient to regain mobility in their own limbs. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. See you later.